Hello there, and welcome to another trip to the Makaloop. Today we're up on Caddies, coming down towards Snake Pit. We're not going quite down as far as Snake Pit today. Uh, I've got a bad back, so I've come here literally because I've got a bad back. Um, join me shortly, and I'll show you how I shoot jets through the Makaloop and the settings that I use. Scanner's just gone off and we've got a flight of four F-15Cs coming through. Um, I will put the settings on the photos at the end of the video, but the way I shoot these jets, I shoot in aperture mode, um, there are lots of ways to shoot these jets, so don't take this as gospel and the way to do it, shoot how you want really, but the way I do it, I shoot in aperture mode, I'll just set the ISO, I've got it set at 160 because it is a little bit dark on the opposite valley. Uh, the, ice, uh, the aperture is currently at f5.6 just so I can get a sharp jet. I'm not worried about shutter speed because I am quite good with panning so I am comfortable doing it so if the shutter speed drops I'm okay with it. Uh, that's the way I photograph jets at the Mac Loop. Um, as I say these photographs the uh, the settings will be on the photos, what I've used. Um, I don't know what the shutter speed is until I take it. So, but I will be shooting at 5.6. Um, I'm using a Canon 7D Mark II with a 300 f4 lens. Um, and that's it really. The scanner's just gone again. I'm uh, just dropping into low level now. So, here's a video. And I'll put some stills on as well and some more stills at the end of the video. The scanner's just gone off. We've now got a two ship and a three ship coming. Um, F-15Es. So hopefully um, they're going to stay low. The uh, the wind has puck up really bad. It's freezing cold here. I'm now just going to have a little walk just to uh, try and get warm. Um, Again, it's gone really cloudy as you can see now. There's not much blue sky about. So I've just checked the camera and it looks like the shutter speed is going to be down to about 2 50th of a second at f5.6 and ISO 160. So don't be scared to have a little go at panning. Um, what I would suggest to you is sort your panning out, practice on cars, dogs, anything. Um, get used to just twisting, twist at your hips, try and twist at the same speed that everything's going past you and you will get better and better with it. Uh, it is just a technique that you need to master really with a Mac loop. I can hear them now above so I'm going to get off here. Here's the videos.
that. This is just a little phone call. There's a pair of F15Cs, the Reapers coming through. Anytime now, I've just got them on the scanner. The scanner's just gone off. Um, I don't know how many passes they're going to do. It'll be one or two. And I think it's just a pair of them as well. Um, again, the settings is exactly as I was earlier, 5.6. I'm uh, choosing ISO 160. And it has brightened up a bit now, so I am, they should have speed it up 800th to 1000th of a second. So they should be pretty sharp. I can hear them above, so here's the video, and I'll put the photos on at the end of the video. So that's it for today. But we had a good day actually with the jets. We uh, some lovely passes, some quite high again, but beggars can't be choosers. Um, I hope you find the video useful, especially setting wise and how I shoot for the jets. So there's there's lots of ways to photograph these jets. You can shoot in manual. You can shoot shoot a priority. My personal choice is shooting in aperture mode so that I can set the ISO because look, it's always light or dark here, the light's always bad and when you look at the Facebook groups, that, you know, people post photos and you know, they just say in awful light so it is always cloudy around Cadridris, it's got its own little microclimate so what I find is to shoot aperture mode, I can set the aperture that I want to get all the jet sharp and if I need to up the ISO slightly I will and then just let the camera sort out shutter speed as I said earlier because my panning is okay I don't mind if the shutter speed comes down to 200th of a second or less um, I know that I will get the shot and it won't be too grainy because I haven't up the ISO too much if you like the video, 
please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing I will be putting more videos on <laughs> oh. yeah I nearly caught it there <laughs> oh. nearly on my ass there you go where was I? yeah if you like the video please consider subscribing I will be putting more videos on as uh, when I start coming up here more often in the summer uh, yeah if you haven't been up here there's a video on of all the locations uh, a guide to the locations at the Mac Loop it tells you everywhere you need to go there's what three words tags on there as well so if you use the app you can uh, find where you're going until next time here's the photographs and take it easy